Okay, my friends. Let me go back here. All right, so we did a correlation between two variables, and then, and then we did a correlation between four. Now we're going to do a multiple regression, which is essentially examining a group of variables and the degree to which that group of variables predicts a dependent variable. All right, so let's go. Analyze regression linear. Okay, so dependent variable is our math achievement test still. And so we're going to look at grades in high school, father's education, mother's education, and gender. Grades in high school, mother's education, father's education, and gender. The method is enter. We're going to select statistics. We're going to select um, estimates. We're going to select model fit and descriptives. We're going to select continue and OK. Oops. Multiple regression. Okay, very good. Here we are. Let's talk about um, what we're looking at here. All right. Um, you can follow along in your text. Your text does a pretty good job of explaining everything. Uh, we're going to talk more about the the notion of uh, multicollinearity. Um, but here we can see that mother's education and father's education have a very high correlation value. You know that the highest value you can have in a correlation is one and they're almost at 0 0.7. Okay, so that's something that that we should consider, but we'll talk more about that. Um, here we have our the significant level significance levels of, of all of our correlations. Alright, um, and their relationship to math achievement test. Alright, so if I were to ask the question if the correlations are significant between grades in high school, mother's education, father's education, and gender, and math achievement test, the answer for all of them would be yes, because the value is less than 0.05. All right, but you remember that from correlations. Um, okay, the, the same is true for multiple regression as for linear regression. All right, simple linear regression. The same is true for multi, multiple regression. Adjusted R square tells us the amount of variance, the percentage of variance explained in the dependent variable, all right, which is math achievement test, explained in the dependent variable by all of the, the variables that we put into the model, and there are four. Again, this, the, this is a significant relationship, okay? This model uh, explains uh, uh, change or predicts the the um, dependent variable math achievement test in a significant manner. This is much less than 0.05. Very good. Our coefficients. So all this does is it tells us exactly which variables are are significantly con contributing to the dependent variable, and as your text indicates, two are. How do we know? Because of the significance value here, 0 0.000, which is less than 0 0.05, and 0 0.006, which is less than 0 0.05. Gender, grades in high school, okay? But when we are, are looking at this value, the significance value, we are talking about the significance of the entire model, all right? This simply allows us, as your text indicates, to look at specific variables and examine, okay, well, which ones are, are contributing significantly. All right, so then with linear re regression, one of the things that we might do is say, okay, well, uh, let me try these four, then let me try two, let me try three, let me add another one, let me pull one out and figure out which model is the best model to predict my dependent variable. Okay, and we'll talk more about that, that in class as well. But that should really get you started on your homework. Have a good weekend.